Hold on, welcome. Here, well, you can get to see this crap right now. Um, but I want to um, explain to people about some problems they've been having for their rivals and Ace Online. Um, people are having some windsocket errors, some other errors that involve not being able to play the game. I mean, after two minutes, they get a uh, they get online, and two minutes after that, they get cut off. Or like every minute or so, they get on they get kicked off for some execute file or something called hard block like that. <clears throat> now, I had this error myself, and um, it was quite a prick because. I wanted to play this game after a while again, and I found out that this game was having a problem from such a same issue, and so was another game. And not to mention, I was also having a very difficult time for my computer's performance because one little specific thing that I did not see yet. It looked fancy and cool and all that crap. So, this I did not know would be causing the problem, but yet it seemed to be likely. I mean, it, it was the problem. So, everybody downloads Windows themes, they got all this cool stuff. And here's one Windows theme I'm um, talking about I had, it was the Alienware Free. Now, this seems all fancy, seems all cool, it makes your desktop all nice and fancy looking and all that jazz. I mean everybody loves themes for their windows ability. They don't like the crappy little uh, standard look they have. <clears throat> <clears throat> but I had this windows theme and obviously I was still using the Aura um, little window uh, key things. Um, but this was not allowing me to log on to the game oddly. I don't know why. It was giving me the windsocket air, it was giving me that other execute X E X zero E something, whatever it was. I forgot what the stupid air name was, but yeah. Um I just went and load. I mean, it would load for like one minute and then boom. It just wouldn't go anymore. It would just close down on me. And I tried to run in at Windows 7 um, uh, Vista and XP capable mode. I tried to run in administrator mode. I basically tried almost everything that could possibly uh, run the program without being closed <clears throat> but yeah it just wouldn't work so not to mention that I also when I had this this windows thing I was also seeking the blue screen of death at random times um, I mean, it wouldn't be dramatic, but at random times, my computer would just be like, I'll be like on browser and such forth, like YouTube, and uh, just chilling on some live watches and all that stuff, and then <laughs> my computer turns black, and then <laughs> turns into the blue screen of death. It has a physical physical memory dumpage going on. I'm like. Okay, really? Why? So, yeah, I tried almost everything that would possibly be uh, interfering with the computer to do this, and also not run my games. And after a while, I was just like, okay, maybe this is doing it. Maybe my Windows theme is doing it. <clears throat> and what do you know? After I removed the entire Windows theme and went back to the Aura, 
Windows 7 basic, or not Windows basic, but just the standard Windows 7 with the aura then enabled and whatnot. Oh my gosh, what happens? What happens? I'll let you guys see my entire desktop. <sighs> As you can see, same, uh, just basic thing. I'm going to click on Ace Online. And for five minutes, I'm going to be logged in. Uh, you guys cannot uh, see that for now. <laughs> Sorry. It's, yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so here we are. It's online. And if you're saying, oh, well, Ace Online is different than their rival, I mean, they're two different programs. I'll prove you wrong by enabling both games at the exact same time. So if you think you're a wise guy that's saying, oh, well, they're different games, different abilities, they're no, they're not. So while that loads that screen, I'm going to enable my flight on this. <clears throat> so this is Ace Online. I'm gonna uh, stay steady here. I hate when you log in and you get that stupid closing stop area. It's really annoying. <sighs> okay, so I'm running both games at the exact same time. I'm going to turn off the stupid help that is really annoying when you log in. I wish they would fix that. So within about one to two minutes, this game would automatically close when I had the theme or the without the theme running or with it installed or anything and without having the blue screen of death. I'm going to be able to run this game for over 5 minutes. So, uh, for the 5 minutes, I guess I'll talk about um, um, the other games, other issues that people are having. And I know everybody's going to be like, oh, well, it, it probably works better if you're sitting in the station or sitting in uh, the town. I'll have one of them sit in the town. And then I'll switch off after about three minutes. And to prove that what I'm running right now is not in Windows capable mode, it's not in XP capable mode, or not running administrator mode, nothing fancy like that. I haven't uh, worked anything to run in any type of mode whatsoever. They're just running off of my Intel uh, HD graphics, which is uh, integrated graphics, of course. So here I am. I'm in the town. No logage, no log off or whatsoever. And I'm going to stare at all the people, all the little trades uh, guys. And uh, there you go. Uh, but first, I'm going to minimize that so you guys can see the properties. And capabilities up, oh, not running in this, not running in any small mode, not running in man administrator, nothing whatsoever. <clears throat> Same for this program. <clears throat> so, when I disabled the Windows theme, Boom. All my programs were able to work 100% again. So, I am hoping this helps most of the people that were having the Windsocket error, or that execute error, or the connection failure error with 
they connected and then you just randomly said, oh, well, uh, can't connect to the server or server lost error. Because those were all, those three errors were all identical to the problem that I was having when I had Windows 10. So hopefully this will be helpful for all the people that are trying to run the Windows theme uh, ability for their Windows and they can't play their game. So right here will be probably about the time that I will be logged off, and yet I'm not. I'm gonna tell you, buddy. <laughs> oh, I got some a uh, few figures, so smile all. Okay, I'll switch off. They're both anti, they're both uh, the anti nation guys, so they both have the identical um, towns. So there you go, I, I'm in town for both accounts on both air arrivals and Ace Online. And still no disconnection. So um, I'm hoping this is very helpful for most of the people that weren't getting a very straight answer for what their program was, uh, why their program for Ace Online or Air Rivals wasn't working. But yet all these people, all these idiots, okay, not idiots, I'm being, sar being sarcastic, were online. And they really didn't know the problem themselves, yet they were online, so it's like, okay. And nobody really gave me, I mean, 
nobody was giving the straight answer for any other people that were having the same problem. So it's like, okay, I, hopefully this will be a better straight answer for everybody to fix their game and whatnot. So if you disable your Windows themes, um, and just run your basic Windows mode, or you uninstall the program itself, you'll find out that you'll be able to run your game 100% again, like you were able to back when you were running XP, or Vista, or obviously Windows 7. <coughs> Um, just make sure you have your user account controls deactivated for Vista and obviously Windows 7 and then you'll be able to run this game 100% and disabling your uh, Windows student ability. With that, welcome back to Air Rivals and Ace Online and thank you for watching this video and hopefully this is a better straight answer for all you uh, guys that were having a little failure point on your game, thank you for watching, and um, fly safe.